Okay, so we have financial system. Let's look at this more carefully. I went to uh, Best Buy a couple months ago and I bought a new Chromebook. And uh, like typically in Canada, I had a choice between paying cash, credit card, or debit card. Let's be honest here. Uh, elsewhere in the world, there's many other systems of pay making payments. Nowadays, even in Canada, we use like pay uh, PayPal or we use your phone. I guess there's Apple Pay and so on. Anyway, I, the typical way is cash, credit card, debit card. And I, I want to follow it through this way. Uh, cash would be relatively straightforward, simple. Uh, I, debit card is more sophisticated, more modern system. I use my credit card. Now, first point about this is I happen to deal with the Bank of Montreal, BMO. And I have a credit card issued by the Bank of Montreal, a BMO MasterCard. And let's make this plain first. MasterCard and Visa are not banks. Uh, they're only a firm that have a logo. Uh, it's actually the banks that issue credit cards. Uh, so I, my credit card, in fact, is a BMO credit card. It happens to have the MasterCard logo. Very useful. If you travel abroad, nobody knows about the Bank of Montreal. They've never heard of Montreal. They don't know where it is. But they can recognize this logo MasterCard. That's very valuable. So in effect, BMO pays MasterCard for the use of this logo, this signal, to be able to know that if you've ever worked in a, a, a cashier as a, at a, at a place in tourism uh, in Montreal, you'll know that there's zillions of credit cards. You don't know it's Banco or whatever the place it is, but if you recognize Visa or MasterCard, you know it's acceptable, it works. So, key point here is that BMO issues the credit card, but MasterCard Visa are the logo. Now, in actual fact, let's be honest about this, uh, Visa, Visa and MasterCard are involved in the payment system between the, 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 the different banks, but I'm going to stick with this logo idea. Okay, so what actually happened here? I went into uh, Best Buy, and uh, I got a new Chromebook, so I walked out with a new Chromebook. On the other hand, uh, what did I give Best Buy? Well, I gave, I didn't give them my credit card. Well, I did, but then I walked out of the store with my, I left them a credit card slip, a piece of paper. Uh, in the past, it was signed. If you go to the United States, it's still signed. Uh, in Canada, we typically now do it digitally with a pin. So there was, if you work as a cashier, you'll know there's a piece of paper that's printed out. It's often called the merchant copy, and you put it preciously in your, cash receipt or whatever so that uh, it can be picked up by somebody later in the day to do something with. Let me call this credit card slip financial paper. I'm going to make two assumptions here. I'm going to start with the first assumption. Let's assume that Best Buy also deals with BMO like I do. So what does Best Buy do with this financial paper, this credit card slip? Well, what would I do? What would you do if I gave you a check, a personal check? Uh, you take it to your bank and you deposit it. Best Buy is very smart. They don't keep this financial paper. It doesn't pay any interest. So the first thing they'll want to do, typically the after their nine, ten o'clock, they're going to take all these credit card slips and take them to their bank, BMO, and deposit them. So what does BMO do with this? credit card slip when BMO deposits it? Well, in this case, it's a bit different. Best Buy is quite, ha BMO is quite happy to hold on to this paper. It pays interest when BMO receives it. So the Bank of Montreal, in effect, I'm not an accountant, so I don't quite know of these details, but in effect, uh, the, the Bank of Montreal is going to put in my account negative $200. And in the Best Buy account, plus $200. Uh, a little point here to consider about is something called the transaction date. If you have a credit card, you should pay attention to this. The transaction date is the date in which you made the purchase. Uh, that's when I bought my Chromebook. The posting date is the date that the Bank of Montreal received the credit card slip. And that's the date at which they can start receiving interest. So 
from the Bank of Montreal's perspective, is it minus 200? Well, yeah, that's great. They can start charging interest. They've added $200 to the Best Buy account. And in fact, it stops right here. Bank of Montreal is going to hold on to this paper. They love it. By the way, uh, credit card uh, slips have very high interest. So, of course, the Bank of Montreal, since the posting date has started, uh, if I'd use a debit card or a personal check, the same principle go through. Personal check is easier. I write a check, you sign it. This is done in the United States. It's relatively infrequent for commercial, per or rather consumer purchases in, the, in Canada. For large purchases, of course, that's the main way of paying for things, a personal check, a certified check. Debit card works the same way. It's done uh, through computer means. I'm going to stick with the credit card idea. I have something to tell everybody here. I work at Best Buy. Dawson College doesn't pay me enough money to do this kind of work. And uh, as a result, I have a side job. I work at Best Buy. And as it happens, I'm very good at sales. I make 40 bucks an hour. So the week I happen to buy this Chromebook, I worked five hours. I made 200 bucks. I get paid on Fridays. So the Friday after I made this Chromebook purchase, I got paid, as most people, by direct deposit. Uh, so what happened? What did BMO do? Well, how would BMO account for this? Well, my account was previously minus $200. I always pay my MasterCard immediately. Uh, I just put $200 in that account, wind up with zero. The Best Buy account, what would happen? Direct deposit, Bank of Montreal would shift $200 from the Best Buy account to my account. This means we're all back to the beginning. We were, well, what in fact happened here? I could have just said to my boss that week before the Friday, hey, don't pay me this week. Just give me a new Chromebook. What's that called? What is it called when you do a deal, but no money is involved? called barter and in effect what I did was I traded my working time for a new Chromebook interesting question here is well who would object to this mutually beneficial voluntary trade uh, the government the government taxes us on each transaction in this case, first of all, it's tax we're taxed when we have to pay the GST PST because I bought a new Chromebook, it's fifteen percent. But we're also taxed, I'm also taxed when well I got paid. I'm taxed on my income. But it's an interesting point here is that many trades in Canada occur without using private financial paper. The government paper cash is not involved. In the case of my and it was officially declared, my salary and the purchase of the Chromebook, all of this is done without any kind of, let's call it cash or Bank of Canada money. Uh, I did it, paid my taxes correctly, Best Buy collected the taxes. Another way to think about this more, in a more complex way is, you know, we borrow books from the library, we lend stuff to friends, we leave clothes at driving, we help friends, we do all kinds of trans transactions between people, some involving financial paper, an IOU. Sometimes it's just stuff for stuff. Uh, some of these are taxed, some of them are not taxed. But I made a critical assumption before. What was it? Step back and think. 